News First Newsline with Faraz Shaukatali. And a very good morning to you. This is Newsline, live from the News First studios in Dawson Street in Colombo and broadcasting on TV One. And uh, this morning, uh, joining us um, uh, on our set is a young parliamentarian uh, with a famous dad. Uh, but he's here. And uh, we're delighted to welcome on our set this morning, uh, Dr. Ramesh uh, Patarina. Very good morning to you, Good morning doctor. to you. And uh, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for uh, inviting It's me. wonderful to see young people here. Um, and um, I wanted to ask you straight away, um, what is your take on what's going on in politics and in, in our country, in parliament? What, there's all this corruption going on. There seems to be a lack of accountability and responsibility. What's going on? Well, actually, people of this country wanted to have a change. So our, our government, we were ruling the country for 10 long years. And starting from 1994, except for two, two years, we were uh, governing the country for nearly you know, two decades. So people wanted to you have a change. SLFP. Yes, LFP, yes. Yeah. People's Alliance and the UPFA. Yeah. So the people wanted to have a change. There have been certain issues in relation to our governance also, though we had done so much uh, in the infrastructure development, bringing in peace to this country. People yeah. had certain criticisms. Yeah. Uh, that one criticism was uh, about this corruption. Yeah. So at the, at the January election last year, so people defeated us. So the gov uh, government, uh, new government came into power. Yeah. So the people of this country expected a lot of things from this government. Yeah. So it is up to the people to decide after now it's nearly two years since we had gone out of power and new government came to power in January 2015. Yeah. So it's up to the people to decide whether they had gone in the correct direction. You know, people always, you know, the, the educated Sri Lankans, the greater majority of Sri Lankan people expect this country to be a better one than this. Yeah, I think so the all politics, all, all us, all of us, yeah. all of us, so all of us. So it is uh, unfortunate up to a certain extent that uh, the, the promises given by the, the, the political parties and the governments did not keep the promises in relation to tackling corruption, uh, the corruption issue. Right. But it is getting better and better. That's why we voted uh, all of us... Uh, gave our unanimous consent for the 19th, uh, cons uh, 19th constitutional change, yeah, which had brought in certain that. independent commissions and, uh, and the government promised to keep things more transparent. Yeah. But despite the promises, dis despite the efforts, it has not fallen into the correct track, I, I would say. Yes, uh, Dr. Patirana, may, may I put it to you this way? Uh, aren't these the difficulties of having a coalition government? For all <coughs> intents and purposes, they can lab label it what they like, and it's called a national unity government. Yes. Well, you know, that perhaps to circumvent some of the regulations of the 19th Amendment, yes. we, that's another angle of looking at it. Yes. But the, the bottom line is that this is a government uh, that is made up in a coalition. Yes. Uh, right? So that's a problem in itself. Yes. On top of that, don't you think that it's rather unfair that the leader of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party, yes. uh, who also happens to be the president of this country, yes. with his own clear mandate, yes, right, isn't it um, rather not on and not cricket for you? Uh, when I say you, I yes. mean this so-called joint opposition, to not stand behind the leader of your party. Either, shouldn't it be a case yes. that either you stand behind him or you leave, go and join running or anybody else? Okay, so uh, coming to your first question, yeah. so it's the coalition government that had been in power since 1994 for a long history, even our government was a coalition. So we had you know, the Muslim parties, the Tamil parties and other small, small parties yeah. coming together to form the government. So it's yeah. not a new thing, though this time for the first time that UNP and the, the SLFP they have come together to that's form the I government. Mean, that, that's yeah, that's right. That's yeah, it's, it's, I mean a say, that it's, it's a novelty. It's a novelty. It's a novelty where the it's two novelty. major parties yeah. are together. Yeah, but uh, once you form that sort of government, you expect the gov to, 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 to that government to deliver much better than the previous governments. Well, but okay. question no, because the second, you, you, you can... Let me, yeah, yeah. let me ask the second question. Yes, he, he, uh, the, 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 His Excellency, the President, Maitri Palasarisen, is the leader of our party. Yeah. And with his consent only that we started working in the opposition, because significant um, number of uh, population of this country are ne nearing up to 4.7 million, they voted for us. They did not accept the concept of the concept of this uh, 
unitary government, two major political parties getting together to form the government. So at that time, when we were campaigning for our elections in um, August 2015, we said we, don't, we do not become the part of the government, but we support for the good cause. That's why we voted for the 19th Amendment. That's why we are talking about the 20th Amendment. If it's a good one for the country, we definitely support. If for the good, good things, we support. But on the other hand, we'll have to represent the people who voted for us. That's why we are in the opposition. Right. But, but nevertheless, um, President Susena, as the leader of the party, yes. isn't getting the full support uh, from his membership. And that sounds to me is rather, rather unfair. No, that's because of the, 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 the political climate change in this country significantly in 2015. Because, you know, we had our own candidate, that was His Excellency Mahindra Rajapaksha. He contested from our party. He, uh, Honorable, uh, His Excellency Maitri Palasir, he joined the UNP. Basically, it's the UNP voter base that voted for him, who brought him to, uh, the, you know, brought him to power. So there's a conflict of interest at that time itself. So it's fair, by all means, uh, democratically, that uh, the people who voted for us, we have to represent them. There's a representation because the large majority of the people at the ground level, they do not, uh, they do not basically, uh, you know, like this concept of concept of uh, two parties coming together to govern the country. But you can see certain good things happening. I agree with that. But on the other hand, we'll have to look at the interests of the people who had voted for us. How can I ask you to yes. be rather candid as a young? Uh, politician yes um, and you know they always say this, this is a cliche almost that uh, the future is in the hands of the young uh, right so now in that context yes um, can you say that is it fair uh, or why is it that the former president yes. who's obviously clearly uh, voted out of office yes because the public didn't want that yes right so He's done his good bit. Yes. And isn't it time for him to uh, sort of go off into retirement and, and be some sort of elder statesman and, and pass judgment on all sorts of things, but not get involved and be a real thorn in the side of this president? No, it's, uh, he's not a thorn, actually. The people of like this country, that. Yeah. No, that is what you interpret, actually. Yeah. You know, that's, you, that, have that's your, right. you have your that's you right. have that, that's right one to, right to that's decide. That, that's one opinion. It, it may not be, the, yeah, it may not be the, the popular view, on the other hand. And the view of the, the people who voted for us, he wanted, because of the fact that you these parties, the people, do you uh, want? Dr. Patrick, yes. the people clearly yes. voted. Yeah, true. It was a contest between one yes. and the other. Yes. And President Sirisena won hands down. Yes. Therefore, yes. we must construe that it, it was a vote it against them. No, it doesn't mean that he has to be away from politics because there are no, as I very clearly uh, stated to you, there are no repre representation of the people who had voted for Mahindra Rajapaksha or then subsequently at the general election for us. So he has to take the leadership. But, you know, if somebody can say, okay, it's, isn't that good for him to be away from politics for some time, as you uh, just mentioned? But it's up to the time. He will stay away when the, the, the country and the, the, the policies of the country, uh, the, the economy, comes back to the normal track. I don't think he will stay there for a long time, but he, for the time being, we need him to provide but, the leadership. But to be fair, I mean, he had two terms. He couldn't get... If, yeah, if, that's right. If that was enough yes. to, to get everything going. Yes. And, and do you have a problem with that? No, uh, no, obviously. With, why should somebody... In most of the democratized world, yes. we don't have we have systems in place yes. to make sure that no one person has an all-encompassing effect forever and ever yes. uh, on the country because that's almost like a, a dictatorship. No, obviously he can't become the executive president of this country. The Not constitution now. is changed. Just thanks yes. to this national it's only it's, it's for the time being. It's pro he's providing the leadership for us, but time has to decide. You know, you know. It's but why? Because okay, of the fact that it's, that it's because of the fact that. This unitary government, the both parties have come together. Uh, His Excellency Maitri Palasirisena uh, from the, the SLF faction and from the UNP, they got together. Uh, who is giving the leadership or the representation to the, the other people, the, the large majority of the people who voted for us? That is the critical question here. <coughs> so he, he, at that time, he didn't want, you know, when the party was given away. So the, the, my, my, uh, probably the Mahindra, Mahindra Rajabaks did not expect this, you know, the, this, the, 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 these political events to be turned around in, the, in, the, in this manner. That's why he had to be in politics. Um, 
that, uh, or was it because he needed to protect uh, the various claims being made against members of his family? Obviously, you know that he can't protect that. You know, they are, you know, there are a lot of uh, allegations, and they are <coughs> going to the courts, and and mo the, the most of the family members were remanded, including uh, including uh, Honorable Nama Rajapaksha and <coughs> former Minister Basil Rajapaksha. So there is no protection as such. You know, the more they are in, in politics, the more they will be harassed. Um, uh, but on the other hand, uh, there was deep unhappiness about the level of nepotism, um, alleged corruption, yes. uh, and um, uh, family um, family bandits. Yes, those are the reasons why uh, reasons for the downfall of ours. But people believe that at that time. <coughs> Today, I can ask you after about uh, nearly two years. What are the significant charges brought against them? So he was, um, you know, that but like yesterday charges, also you saw from one charge, charge he was, uh, the Attorney General's Department came yes, forward I, to I, withdraw I the case. I don't think that we can, okay, then uh, we can respond and say to you, what about the, uh, what about the lands that suddenly have no ownership? So you uh, have to, you know. okay, those are the court cases. Yeah. But, you know, so in that case, the gov it's up to the government. They came to power. Exactly on those promises, they given the pro given, given a lot of promises to the people of this country. Yeah. Especially, they charged you know the level allegations <coughs> against the, the the previous regime or the government. Now, why can't they do the justice? I mean, they well, were not because found uh, guilty. The, uh, uh, they were not found guilty. The, these charges are so serious, uh, and the investigations are continuing, and that's what they say. Yeah, that's so, what they say. You know, we'll we, see. We, we, so we'll it's up to the time to see. see. Indeed, yeah, I will wait and see. Yes. So, in the meantime, as a young parliamentarian, how? Um, how worried are you about what's going on in this government? Because, you know, corruption is not the preserve of any one party or politician. That's right. Right? So we have to agree to that. Yeah, that's and right. yes. time and time again, when we raise questions about yes. what's happening in this government, the stock answer is, ah, oh, well, then this happened in, in the other government. Yeah, that's right. But true. that's not an excuse. Really right? true. And that can't be really true. an answer. So yeah. what is it that, what is the standard? When I say you, I mean people, yeah. young people, yeah. the younger politicians yes. who just have come in. Yeah. What is your stance on this thing? And no, what are you all doing no, about it? Despite political differences, it's very unfortunate when you think of the country. Corruption had been rampant over a period of time. I think it's especially after 1997 with the open market economics scenario came into the Sri Lankan context. So this corruption issue came to the, the limelight. It's very unfortunate that it, it goes on. And even this, uh, the, the current government has it has not taken significant issues to, you know, tackle the issue. So when you think about the overall picture, it's very disheartening uh, to tell you the truth. Dr. Pratidana, as uh, a young politician, and um, are you sort of in awe of Mahinda Rajapaksa? Do you do you have a sense of blind loyalty, or are you able to? Di like a medical man that you are, yes. are you able to dissect this and keep that separately, his achievements separately and his uh, other concerns separately? Yeah, that's I mean, right, there yeah. are, there were, if, yes. if he was as popular yes. as everyone makes out to be, yes. then he would still be president. <coughs> so that's that's right, yes. bottom line. No, we had uh, ups and downs. You know, the major difficulty, the major downfall was because of the ethnic issue, I suppose. I mean, even though I yeah, strongly believe, even, 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 yeah, though, even yeah. though we won the war, we couldn't win the uh, hearts and minds of the Tamil population of this country. That was the main reason for our defeat, actually. So other other, other things also came into the limelight. There, but there is a profound was, sense of disappointment yes, that's right. uh, amongst the people uh, yes. of the former conflict areas yeah, that's and the right, minorities. Yeah, that's right. That that's right. the one man who yes. was able, if he was committed to yes. a real unity and yes. reconciliation, it was, it was if me. he was committed to that, yeah, that's right. then he would have gone down in history a completely yeah, different right. way. I know. I know. And he, he let the side down, yes. as in, actually he didn't only let the side, uh, the minority I, I, I down, he let the whole country down. No, I think it was because of the fact that his, you know, the, the politics that was, um, you know, complicated the issue at that time. So there were so many fractions, you know, influencing him uh, in relation to the line that he took yeah. uh, in relation to the, the ethnic issue. But as you correctly mentioned, he would have been the man who won the war for us and who had won the peace for us. Yeah. But unfortunately, he couldn't do that. That was the main uh, reason for our downfall as well. But is it, do you yeah. think it's because he, uh, uh, after the war, yes. uh, when people uh, were so grateful and uh, as a form of endearment, uh, sort of 
elevated him and started yeah, referring to him for granted as, that, yes. uh, that he was the king. Yes. Uh, and, you know, do you think that this got to his head? It, but it seems to have got to his head because the delivery post-war, I think the people in the country were quite nauseated, nauseated by the fact that every time, <coughs> if anything, it was, oh, but we won the war, we won the war, we won the war, and we won the war, and we won the war. Yes. But, you know, the people of Sri Lanka are, generally speaking, yes. are rather peace-loving. That's right. We, we, we don't, I we, agree with you. We, we are, agree we are you. known for our smiles and for you. our hospitality and so on. Yes. They don't want to know about having this gory details about how we killed our own. That's right. You know, no, I agree, uh, partly I agree with you about what you mentioned just now, but on the other hand, let me uh, mention one fact about this. Uh, the, the, you said we are, we are, we are a peace-loving nation. That is very true. Yeah. On the other hand, look at the issue that took place in Alud Gambirwala. You know, uh, His Excellency Bahindra Rajapaksha had been a friend of Muslims over a period of time. He'd been the president of this Palestinian Sri Lanka Friendship Association some 40 years ago. Yes, but he you know, friends of Muslim. No, he, he didn't change. That's the, the politics around him, which had complicated the matter, I personally believe. Yeah. At that time, when that uh, the unfortunate incident took place in Aludgama or Beruwala, I mean, our government didn't do enough to ensure that we, uh, you know, provide relief and we win the, the hearts and minds of the Muslim community of that area. So that had a, you know, sort of a... Snowballing I, I effect. Can tell Snowballing you, effect. As yes. Of that community, yes. I yeah. can tell you yes. that the, the, his his inaction. Sometimes, you know, inaction well, he is was greater in, than know, action. He, he was not in the country at that time, but we know the 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 honourable Basil Rajapaksha at that time. He mediated with his fullest strength. You know, may may not be up to the level that you expected at that no, time. No, not, not that not to the I, level I, that I, we expect, I but agree. the level that. The, the normal, average, liberal-minded person. Well, accepts. okay, I agree with that. You know. We did not manage that situation. That was so, but on the disaster. other hand, you know, on the other hand, what was behind that scene was what the the, the, the ground factor was. Behind the Rajapaksha was a friend of Muslims. He won hearts and minds or so. But he Muslims, let, but and therefore he, the letdown was even greater. Well, well, that that was the reason why we were defeated. From one side, we couldn't be in the hearts and minds of the Tamil people after the war, and on the other hand, this uh, this effect, you know, that what happened the at But now, today, you're looking back at that scenario, what happened at that time, you come to a decent conclusion whether it was, it was you know, it, it was a conspiracy of, uh, of, a, of a third party. That, that, that conclusion, you can generally come into because nothing was done after that, and that uh, the, the particular the movement, which had instigated those, inc those incidents, they are, you know, freely moving behind. Now, even now, they have become active again. So it comes to our mind. We have a uh, fair, fair reason to think that it was was it a conspiracy? So which we did, which we did not manage well. Okay, it was our fault basically. We did not manage that scenario as you correctly mentioned. But you know, was it a was it a th was there a third party behind that? Is a vital question to answer. Can I ask you another question? Was yes. it uh, was it uh, the president's younger brother behind all this? And no, he wha is very clearly. Was he was he uh, was the president uh, so? Um, uh, concerned about the way his younger brother is known to react in ter and, and so on and he he allowed his younger brother to flirt with these uh, almost uh, extremist elements no it's not true actually what happened uh, during the last couple of months we had uh, we, we visited with him to talk to you know so we have a sizable muslim community in gold district and also in uh, in, in aludgam beerwar area visited those areas we had an open chat with them and explaining the situation that took, you know, what happened at that time. Maybe people may have believed, may, may have not believed, but we explained the situation that took place here at, at the ground level, you know, uh, the, to your, your question. Well, um, I don't think it happened so, but there was a common belief that it, it was like that. Indeed. Um, I want to move on to, uh, moving on a little bit. Uh, what's your stance on these uh, local government elections? Uh, they, they seem to be delayed. Yeah, that's um, right. And uh, constantly, when we ask, pose the question, it is a standard stock response that s the the standard answer is, "Oh, the delimitation process yeah. is not complete." But, you know, um, I want to know from you: Do you think the public at large out there do they really know what this delimitation process is? No, they do, do they not care? Know. No, they they do not know. They do not care. But uh, the, 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 the biggest issue is at the ground level, so because of this inactivity of the local government bodies, the people do face troubles. They won't, and on the other hand, as politicians, we want people to uh, exercise their democratic rights. They need to have the voting power to ensure that they elect members of the local government. So 
The limitation people do not know. We hope that even yesterday we had a meeting with the chairman of the election commission. He's of the view that they should be able to finish the, the delimitation commission would be able to finish all you know they are they are they're mandated by 31st of December. So hopefully we'll have the elections in first three months of next year. But again it's delayed uh, for a long time, which is not good for the democracy. Uh, yes, but isn't it, isn't it frustrating for you? Yeah, it is frustrating. How do, you, how do you explain this to the people of your electorate? Well, that's right. We go and tell them it's not our business. It was done during our time. You know, it was done. It was completed. But what happened after the government changed, so they said, you know, the, what we have done was not correct. We have, you know, the demarcated the areas as per the wishes of the people of the UPFA. So they wanted to have a new delimitation commission. And they want to go ahead uh, demarcating the areas again. That's the why. That, that's why it was delayed. I'm going to have to move back uh, a step or question back because I got, I've got a, a viewer uh, who's posing this very valid question. Okay, um, it's a long one, but it says they, as in the Myanmar government, did not lose because of the minority. If the Muslims did like it, yes, but due to being a corrupt <coughs> dictator, Myanmar paid money to the LTT to win marginally. Thereafter, changed the course of politics into thuggery and intimidation and carried on, getting, including getting unconstitutional monies for his henchmen and family. Most of this is absolutely spot on. Some of them needs to be proved. Well, well you can, uh, you know, those are the, the expressions of, uh, of somebody. I mean, there had been an uh, opposition what was going on in the country but on the other hand there had been you know significant number of people of this country who loved him who voted for him yes. but as we discussed earlier also you know, our downfall was because of not because of this one basically it's because of the fact that you know it's the the, the muslim and the tamil voters who but I mean, he, he voted, came in, he, voted against him even he came in it's almost it's almost an established fact um bar the actual proof that he paid money to the LTT. No, that is, of course, uh, the allegation that uh, the UNP brought in. Actually, I don't believe that it happened. So, you know, the, the true factor is LTT. Uh, then, leader now, of the, now, then later of the LTT, Prabhakaran thought, yeah. if Mahindra Rajapaksha came into power, he would, have, he would have had a better chance of dividing the country. He thought that uh, uh, His Excellency Mahindra Rajapaksha would, uh, you know, would get into war immediately. And he was, he was overestimating his uh, strengths in relation to war. He thought that he can militarily defeat the Sri Lankan army. That's why he didn't allow people to vote. He, on the other hand, he thought if Rani Lukton Singh, uh, uh, say somebody like um, uh, Sarat Ponsaka came into power, it would have a different story. Or Rani Lukton Singh came into power, it would have a different story. Uh, the, uh, Rani, but there, uh, there was, yes. this, there was, we, we can't get away from this, Dr. Patrana, that there was in this country a huge fear psychosis. The people were not, we, we wouldn't be having this conversation in that last government. You know, uh, as you probably know, we were stoned, then we were bombed, uh, <laughs> we were called terrorists, uh, we were called all sorts of names, uh, uh, you know, but we're still here. And we, we must agree on this. Uh, this must be uh, a basic thing. There was most certainly a huge uh, blanket of fear encompassing the people of this country, even though we had uh, eliminated terrorism. The, the people were frightened to talk, I, well, including I, cabinet ministers. Well, 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 uh, well, if you say so, well, I, I say I, I say this. Look at the number of TV channels we have operating in this country. Look at the number of uh, new uh, television channels, the radio stations, and the print media. You know, it was uh, it was enlarged in that, that manner during the last 10 years only. So you can't say that we didn't have the, the freedom to, of speech. But they and tried why, to fix the uh, whole thing. You know, my, my, what our is our the reason mentor, for us to curtail? I mean, Lassan we did not. Kramatunga. Lassan Kramatunga. Well, find out the you culprit. Know. You know, you, uh, you continue investigations for the last two years, but you couldn't find, uh, you know, what had it, happened. It, now, now it is, it's you a know, bit like you know, uh, there are so Tarjibin's many, case. you know, the, the like fingers are pointed at different directions, as far as you know. So, I mean, why can't this government carry out the investigation, fast track it, and you know the the bring the the culprits to book. I mean, why don't they I, I do that? I uh, hope that uh, yes, I hope that there are certain hidden agendas behind all that. I mean, it's not uh, even though people said that it was Rajapaksha's, there could be so many other hands behind those issues. Well, you know, it's um, <coughs> uh, it's very worrying. But what about you, as a young person? What is your uh, what's your stance on this current um, issues? 
the key issues. One of those is, of course, the bond, uh, the central bank bond issue. Uh, two lots of uh, co people have looked into it, yes. and it just seems to be going here, then everywhere, yeah, right. and it's going yes. nowhere. What yeah. are you doing about it? As no, actually, as parliamentarians, what we could do is to we contributed for the co uh, commission, and we were, you know, giving our inputs for the in members in the co committee. And as parliamentarians, we can't do anything anything more than that. Only thing is that we can, uh, you know, show a protest at the different forums. But it's up to the government to take legal actions. You know, it has to be referred to the Attorney General's Department, and they have to take actions from there onwards. Um, <coughs> but how much faith can you have in that? No, it's that's the thing. As I mentioned, people expect a better governance. You know, the the the, the people who voted for the change on 8th, 8th of January expected a better lot from this section, from this particular government. So it's very unfortunate when you look at the country as a whole, this government who, which came into power stating the very fact that they're going to tackle corruption and they've got into that in a major way. It's very unfortunate. Um, but um, what about your own take on this? Have you, have you spoken in Parliament about the, um, about the bond and so on? Yes. And what, 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 what did you say? No, that was at the budget speech. Yeah. So you basically mentioned now who's behind the main issue, say the, the former central bank governor. He's still in, in connection with uh, the, the Prime Minister Anil Wickremesinghe. He's in his office. He's managing the million job project, you know, that it's, you know, whole world knows now. So it was found very clearly by the Pope report also, and there had been uh, several other investigations that were going on. So everybody had found him guilty. I mean, though he was not uh, charged at the courts, so, see what's happening now. He was transferred from there to another major project of the government. Now he's in charge of one million job project of Honorable um, Ryan Lukumasinghas. So it's not fair, actually. So you expect this government to deliver justice under those circumstances? Have, no, you, ha have, have, you, have you brought this up in Parliament? Have yeah, you we have told. Have you I mean, not, not only me, there are so many people who no, have spoken about it. Yes, yes. And you have? Yes. Um, and do you think there's going to be, uh, do you think there's be light at the end of the tunnel? tunnel? Well, we hope there's so much of so much of pressure from different quarters, and they also can't just you know keep a blind eye on that. I hope something would happen. And uh, I, I just almost want to finish off with this uh, with this question: um, Do you believe in this notion of either put up or shut up? Uh, do you what, if you're not happy with uh, the leader of your party, uh, why don't you consider leaving and joining another party? So it's too early to decide it has to be at the time of the election and we'll have to ensure that we'll have to see the direction the country goes. I mean, it's about two years. Okay, we'll have some more time. We don't want to, we've, we have, we've been in power for some time and we want this government, we wanted to give them a chance. The people of this country wanted to give them a chance to see whether they are, it's, it's our country. You know, we, the, despite political differences, I personally want our people, this, this country to have a better outlook. So we wanted to give them a chance. Now they are going through and it's almost two years now. But if it's not going in the correct direction as we see now, so we have to take a different stance, obviously. So we have to decide. Counter argument to that, Dr. Patrick, yes. is that uh, uh, some people say that you all want, uh, the, the so-called joint opposition want to uh, turn the road uh, towards back towards corruption no, and not. family bandism. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's a very, very clearly, so there had been few mistakes. If you want to come back to power, it's very clear that we have to ensure that we do not fall into the previous track. We have to have a, a very clear new policy framework to ensure that we serve better for people in this country. Dr. Patirana, thank you very much for being on Newsline. I don't really agree with everything you say, but that's, that's <laughs> well, the Well, I also don't agree with uh, right. all what you said. But thank you very much for inviting thank me. Thank you very much. And uh, do look forward to seeing you being uh, active in Parliament. Okay. This is young parliamentarian. Uh, thank you very much for watching Newsline. I will see you same time, same place tomorrow morning. In the meantime, take care and God bless. Thank you.